Yo, so somebody just asked me what I thought about what the orange clown did at uh, Arlington Cemetery. And I can tell you, as a veteran, it was foul, period. It was disgusting, period. It was disrespectful, period. But unfortunately, it ain't gonna matter. Not with his base, period. Because they don't care about fallen soldiers. They don't care about the flag. They don't care about this country. They don't care about back in the blue. You can ask the Capitol Police that. They are devoted to one person only. They only care about one person. They don't care about anything or anybody except him. They have literally abandoned family members for that dude. So it ain't going to matter to them. If the lying didn't matter, this ain't going to matter. If the cheating didn't matter, this ain't going to matter. If the lying about the cheating didn't matter, this ain't going to matter. If the assaults didn't matter, this ain't going to matter. If stealing from kids with cancer didn't matter, this ain't going to matter. If getting a million people off, causing a million people to lose their lives because of his lies from COVID didn't matter, this ain't going to matter. If stealing classified documents, if threatening to be a dictator, if the hate speech, the hate rhetoric, being supported by every single hate group in America didn't matter, this ain't going to matter. If threatening to overturn free and fair elections didn't matter, this ain't going to matter. If January 6th did not matter, this ain't going to matter. If taking away women's rights didn't matter, this ain't going to matter. If threatening to take away more women's rights didn't matter, this ain't going to matter. The only thing that's going to matter is what we do in November. Because we can send a message to him and his supporters that it might not matter to y'all, but it damn sure matter to us. Well, now tell the world that MAGA is not a cult. So the brother told you all guys, nothing ain't going to matter. Your vote is going to matter in November. So bring it on, guys. We're not playing with these people. No, 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 no. We're not playing with it. And did you guys see the Pentagon people? A lady, a spokesperson from Pentagon came and said some bunch of nonsense. And she went like a... Guess what y'all guys need to do? You just need, need to let it be. So they did ask the lady, did uh, these people, the MAGA, attack the person? A, another woman who is a, a worker at the Arling Cemetery, she says, yes, but uh, we're just going to let it go so they could continue with the campaign. So the Pentagon itself does not care about our veterans. And uh, guys... That kind of, that message kind of confused me, the message coming from that Pentagon lady, a spokesperson from the military. Yep. So our veterans, we do thank you for your service. You know, it's just terrible. How do you go to a cemetery and have like a thumbs up and people think that is normal? And nobody's talking about it. The world is quiet. The media, nobody want to say a word about it. Why is that cute? You know some stuff that happens in this America, you can't really fly around Europe doing that. You can't be doing stuff like that and talking the thing that he says and calling the veterans losers and everything and people still clapping for him. I mean, seriously? Yeah, I guess it is what it is. So let's wait until November. And I'm telling y'all guys, these people are not playing. This is time for y'all guys to open your eyes. And uh, the person who hasn't registered to vote yet, go put that name down there. Register your address, your name and everything. Send it to be registered. We have to do it. One vote of you was count. These are called people. These people, they are very well motivated out here. You know, they want to win the election so bad. And the majority of them are racist. They're not even understanding their own social security, their own freedom is, is at stake. They do not care about that. They believe in what Donald Trump is telling them. Well, now listen to Mary Trump. 
Trump's own niece. Listen to what she has to say about her uncle. <laughs> this is somebody that uh, this MAGA people want to vote for. I mean, seriously, just imagine you have your nephews and your nieces. They hate, they hate you to the core. And they grew up watching you. They grew up around you. And they know how narcissists you are. You think you're better than everybody. And guess what? The world is so corrupt. People do like say America is not corrupt. But I'm telling you all guys. Tell me if Donald Trump was a black guy out here. After being. Yeah. This guy has been convicted of 34 charges. If he was a black man accused of sexual assault money laundering all those bad crime with the porn star in the court i'm telling you that black person wouldn't be running for president but uh, guess what it's the united states of america and donald trump is a white man rich white man let's put it well it's not a all white man it's a rich white man See, he's out here calling Kamala all the names out of the book. And nobody's reacting, doing anything. Yeah. The niece said he's used to being like that. That's what he's always been. His own family members do not like him. And you are there supporting this kind of person the criminal and you have daughters this is a rap rapist he want to take your freedom away and guess what you ain't got nothing to say you just gonna let him fly free he's a rich white man i'm telling you this is ridiculous i can't even talk all i can do is laugh because this is crazy <laughs> This is really crazy. Am I really saying these words? Are these words really coming out of my mouth? This is a convicted felon. Who is running for president? And porn star in court to prove it. I mean, really. Guys. Guys, I feel so sorry for these MAGA people. <laughs> I feel so sorry for this cult. It's terrible. And the people supporting him, <laughs> for God's sake, all of them look the same. All of them. What I'm going to tell you, these people literally have a half brain. <laughs> They have some part of that brain. Maybe the frontal lobes of their brains were probably. <laughs> their frontal lobes were affected. We you know how. The mixture of crazy chromosomes. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> Listen to Mary Trump, yo. As many of you know, when it comes to Donald Trump, I think he's a loser. What most people don't understand is that Donald Trump also thinks he's a loser. Not consciously, of course. This is something that he believes deep down. Uh, he knows on an unconscious level that he is absolutely nothing he claims to be. But he can't face that terrifying truth. Being a loser was literally the worst thing you could be in my family. So what does he do? He overcompensates by pretending and actually consciously believing that he is the greatest thing ever to happen. He thinks he's better than everybody else. He thinks he's more successful than everybody else. He thinks he's smarter than everybody else. None of that is true, of course. We know this because on the one hand, he believes that he deserves to win, no matter what it is, whether it's a golf tournament or, I don't know, the presidency. And yet, he also thinks that he should be allowed to do absolutely anything he wants to be able to win. Winning isn't really the issue. It's just getting the W. 
right? Even if it's illegitimate. He can lie, he can cheat, he can steal. In 2016, he was more than happy to accept illegal Russian help to get him into the White House. In 2020, when he did lose, he couldn't face it, so he lied about it and perpetuated the big lie, which now almost all Republicans believe. Almost all Republicans believe that Donald won in 2020 when obviously Joe Biden beat him soundly. And now, in advance of the 2024 election, Donald is already trying to pre-rig the results. How? By telling anybody who will listen that if he loses, it's because the Democrats cheated. We just found out that Russian operatives are spending millions of dollars on right-wing influencers to help them help Donald Trump steal this election. All of this is happening for one reason and one reason alone. Donald Trump knows he cannot win on his own because he knows as well as we do that he is a loser.